Welcome back to Indianapolis Colts Syndicate. I hope you had a wonderful weekend. Today marks the first day of Colts padded practice and training camp. And I'll have a recap video on that later today, so make sure you subscribe with notifications on. This video here is about Julian Blackman switching positions and what that means for the rest of the team. Now, if you take a look at it, Julian Blackman, you may or may not know, was drafted back in 2020 as a free safety. The switch that's happening in 2023 is that he's going to strong safety. So then you might ask, why is he switching positions? Why now in year three is he switching positions? And the answer to that is pretty simple, really. If you look at it, Rodney Thomas is now going to be the starting free safety. When Julian Blackman got hurt last year in week four, he injured his ankle. He was in and out of the lineup for a few weeks, and Rodney Thomas was balling out. He had a couple interceptions just in the Denver game alone. And at that point, it was just you couldn't take him off the field completely with what he had shown, with what he was giving you. You just couldn't take him out just because Julian Blackman was back. Right. And even though you wanted to have Julian Blackman on the field, you couldn't take Rodney McLeod out of the game either. Like Rodney McLeod was arguably the best player in the secondary outside of Stefan Gilmore all last season. So it's not like you could just take him off the field. He was making plays every single game. So once Julian Blackman came back from his injury, it was hard for him to stay on the field. So he ended up only playing 76% of the snaps of the 11 games that he appeared in. And then you look at Julian Blackman in this Gus Bradley scheme. It seems like the coaching staff in the front office, they view Julian Blackman as somebody who can be a possible Cam Chancellor type in this defense, right? Because you think historically, Cam Chancellor, when the Legion of Boom was at XP, it was because Gus Bradley was a defensive coordinator. If we can get Julian Blackman to be anything like Cam Chancellor was, Colts fans are going to be very happy. And Julian Blackman is going to get the bag from somebody. Remember. He's in his last year of his rookie deal. So one way or another, he's looking to have a big year and be able to get paid from somebody. And if he can be a superstar in this champ cancel role in the Gus Bradley defense, then somebody's going to give him the bag, whether it's the Colts or somebody else. We've seen the flashes from him before. Like he can go and do it. It's just a matter of putting it out there and being able to do it and do it consistently and staying available enough to do it consistent. All right, so talking about his availability, let's look at what he's done in his career. He played in 14 games as a rookie, and of the time that he was available in those games, he played 93% of the snaps. And if you'll remember, his rookie year was also the season, the last season, of having 16 games. So he played 14 of the 16 games, and of those snaps, he played 93%. In his second season, 2021, he played in six games after tearing his Achilles. And in the six games that he appeared in, he played in 99% of the snaps, right? And then you look on to 2022 and what happened last year. Gets hurt early, misses a couple games. Overall, he ended up playing in 11 of the 17 games last season. And of the snaps in those games, he played 76%. So it's still a, a healthy chunk, especially early on in the year. Those first three games kind of inflate those numbers a little bit because after he came back, like I said, he was splitting snaps with both Rodney Thomas and Rodney McLeod. So big takeaway from all those numbers there is the fact that he can't play an entire season. So fitting into that Cam Chancellor role, it's hard to imagine he stays healthy for 17 games. Now, luckily, we have Nick Cross to be his backup. And currently, Nick Cross, while Julian Blackman is missing time in training camp, Nick Cross is getting those starting reps, which is going to be invaluable. Last year, he got to see how Rodney McLeod prepared and practiced and got himself ready. And now he gets to come in and fill that void. But at some point, Julian Blackman's going to be back. Julian Blackman is going to be the starting strong safety. And we as Colts fans are going to want him to be available. You know, this is a guy that had a major injury back in college. He tore his Achilles in 2021, right? Being around the ball has a lot of risks. And if you're in that Cam Chancellor role, that's what it's going to be. It's asking him to be around the ball in the pass game and in the run game. Right, So with plenty of competition and safety, having Julian Blackman healthy is going to be as important to him as it is for the team. 
And ultimately, Blackman switching positions could be the thing that helps unlock this defense. We've seen flashes of a player that is different from most, but we need that consistently, and his availability is going to be a big part of that. You know, I really believe all that. I really believe that Blackman switching positions into a Cam Chancellor role can make a massive difference to this defense, the attack style of defense that can happen when you have a guy like Julian Blackman there instead of Rodney McLeod. Rodney McLeod made great plays, but he didn't have the athleticism and the range that Julian Blackman does. So I know I'm a fan of Julian Blackman. I think he has a lot of potential to be one of the best safeties in the NFL. I would love to know what you think of him switching positions this upcoming season. How do you think it affects him and the team? You let me know down in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe and keep coming back for more Colts content. I'll see you for the next video.